Hey dudes, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, the goal is for you, personally, to be able to name assets. Alright dudes, here we go. If I have a binary compound, that's right, a binary compound with two elements, hydrogen and chlorine. Typically, you might call that hydrogen chloride. Maybe some of you might call it hydrogen monochloride. That's cool, but when it's an acid, the name changes. All right, so we got hydrogen as the beginning part of that. Acids need to donate hydrogen, so I got the hydrogen there. And I have the chlorine there. You pronounce it hydrochloride, but we pronounce binary acids as hydrogen gets changed to hydro. We take chlorine, and it ends in chloride. We drop the ide. The ide goes away. We take chlor down here and add the suffix ick to it. And then we also add the word acid. So hydrogen chloride becomes hydrochloric acid. Now on the upcoming slides, it's a good idea for you to press pause. Try it yourself. See if you got it. And then let me uh, come back with an answer. Here's another binary compound. It's hydrogen and iodine. Now, remember what happened in the last slide there? What happened? Okay. We name this hydro iodide. We drop the end of that. And we ended in ick. And then we called it acid. So we have hydroiodic acid. Legit, dudes. I hope you got that one. Try the next one on your own, please. Let's name it. We have the hydrogen becomes hydro. Fluorine becomes fluoric. And they're going to add the word at the end, acid. Hydrofluoric acid. And hydrofluoric acid, hydrofluor, would be one word. So I have it spaced out there, but you really don't have to do that. So hydrofluoric acid. So just a little review. We add HCl, become hydrochloric acid. We add HI, become hydroiodic acid. And lastly, we have HF, becoming hydrofluoric acid. Those are the three examples I'm going to give you for binary compounds that are acids. And we change the name when they become acids. Kind of like when you get married, maybe you change your name. When you become an acid, you're going to pronounce your name differently. All right, dudes, this is an example of a ternary compound. All right, ternary compound. The next two style problems involve ternary compounds. All right, I have three elements there, ternary. I want you to see this one, though. This one has an eight ending. That's right, an eight. It ends in A-T-E. Anytime my acid ends in A-T-E, here's what you do. You drop the eight and you replace it with an ick. That's right, eight becomes ick, and we're going to call it sulfuric acid. Notice we don't say hydrogen. Hydrogen's dropped as well. All acids donate hydrogens into solution. It's almost a little redundant to say the hydrogen. When we say acid, that's what it means. So sulfate becomes ick. So what I want you to see here is that a little ending such as eight, it becomes ick. You know, here's my mnemonic device. You remember this. It's really bad, all right? You might want to grab a garbage pail or something because something you ate that was nasty takes ick. It tastes bad, so it tastes ick. Eight, ick. Hey, guys, it works for me. I hope it works for you. It's really bad, though, I understand, but you'll probably remember it in 20 years from now. So for ternary compounds with eight ending, eight becomes ick. I ate something, ick. It don't feel too good. Eight, ick. Here we go, dudes. Same way. I have a ternary compound with an 8 ending. This is nitrate. You know what's going to happen. I'm going I'm to drop the hydrogen, and it's going to become nitric acid. That's right. The 8 became an ick. 8 ick. Awesomeness, dudes. Awesomeness. All right, why don't you try this one? Go ahead, give it a shot. You know what's happening. It's a ternary compound. 
What I'm going to do is drop the hydrogen because it's no longer here. I'm going to change from the 8 to an ick. And so what I have is chloric acid. Now this works for compounds that end in 8 and they're ternary ionic compounds. What do you do though when it ends in ITE? This isn't 8 anymore, this is an ite. Now 8 to 9 difference differs by their number of oxygens. So hydrogen nitrate has three oxygens, hydrogen nitrite has two. That's a little secret we got going on. So hydrogen nitrite, what do I got dudes? Well you're gonna see, I don't have the word hydrogen anymore. That's gone. We're calling it nitrous acid. Nitrous acid. What are we just looking at here? What are we seeing? The ite becomes an ouse. The ite becomes an ouse. Yeah, that's right. I got another mnemonic device for you dudes. That's right. It's called ite ouse. Light house or white house. Ite ouse. You never forget it actually. You'll never forget this when you when you take my silly mnemonic devices, but they work. Now, so we drop the hydrogen, nitrite becomes nitrous acid. You try it, dudes. Hydrogen sulfite. What am I going to do? I'm dropping the hydrogen. It's no longer there. Ite becomes an O-U-S ending, and it's sulfurous acid. Hashtag sweet, guys. That's awesome. If you can get this, you're doing amazing. Hey dudes, thanks a lot for watching tonight. I hope it was helpful. Peace.